Hi everybody, uh, right we've all moved on, our next stop now, we've just arrived here, Dodwell Park I think it is, we'll show you about later, but we've basically just arrived, uh, Gail's just gone into reception, we'll two over there, and this is the park itself, Stratford Pony Avon, I think it's a couple of mile walk along the River Avon into Stratford, uh, or there's a bus stop outside, if like you can see the weather has been horrendous driving here. But we'll have a good look about the place once we get set up. And we'll take you with us, we'll take the camera with us and show you about it a little bit. But hope to know it looks very nice. We shall see what it's like. Right, that's us all set up, doesn't take it long. Let's have a little wander about the place. So to where we came in up there. You've got lots of statics and everything behind there which all look good. Uh, some of them look like lovely bungalows and all that, but lovely sight. There's plenty of greenery and all that round here. Um, reception's just in the top corner there where Gail went in. We'll just have a little wander around there and see what it's like. Uh, you got your laundry area there, ladies' toilet. Health and disposal point at the back, I think it is. All your pot washing there. Men's toilets at the back. Uh, Health and disposal around the back as well, so let's have a quick look. Shoot, there's nobody in. You've got your dishwashing area here. Ladies' toilets just over there. Uh, Toilets, showers, um, turn showers as well, and not push button ones. Nice, clean, tidy. Let's have another walk back along here. Oh, lovely little else another part there. So, Dodwell Park, Gilsey, as this one's called. Rubbish bins and everything behind here. Yeah, you've got your rubbish there. Elson Point there. Um, there's a little gate there. Let's have a look and see where that goes. Oh, that's all locked. Oh, that just leads into the, into the statics and stuff on there. So. Nice flowers. Hope this rain packs up for tomorrow. Uh, all the hands hard standings down at this point here. Grey water disposal there to the left. Uh, and then you've got all your grass, grass pitches up the top there. I'm going to have a walk away as well because Gail's asked us to have a look see if there's a, uh, a map or something for the area. We thought you could walk in to Stratford along the river here from but we're not too sure now it looks like you might have to walk in through the road so we possibly might get a bus and see you've got all these grass pitches at the back a bit wet today for the grass pitches but plenty hard standing as well <laughs> and the grey water disposal there nice big motor on there and then got reception up here Looks like they've got a little shop. Cute little seating area there. And that's the way you come in. Right, let's have a look. So you've got the bus timetables there. Um, information. So all the information things there. Things to do. Um, so, map of the park. Let's see, you've got a little shop there while you're bits and pieces if you need anything. I open half past eight till half past nine on a morning. Sunday, it's open till half past nine as well. So, that's basically it. That's the site. Nice site. You've got the wardens. Um, caravan at the back there. Nice house. 
Hope the battle chest will must be the owners. Right, get her back to the motor home now and have a cover. There she is. Four spots over there. We'll come all the way at the down the country onto Stratford. Gail says, oh, I've got a letter on it to post there. Where's the letter going? Oh, it's going to get ten. <laughs> ten minutes along the road from where well, we live. I like to give things around. <laughs> you get your money's worth out the stamp. Right. Um, horrible morning again. But we're going to pop down to Stratford to Pony Oh, Always a big wagon. Um, Oh, busy road this and all. So there's a bus stop just outside the campsite. Campsite's just here, Donwell Park. Um, and the campsite, uh, the bus stop's just across here. So we're going to jump on the bus, a couple of quid, into Stratford. See what the day brings us. Yeah, we popped out yesterday when we got here. We were sitting, thought, oh, we'll have a wander out. Thought, oh, it's just stopped here. So we had a walk to the pub. It's a good couple of mile walk. It was all right, wasn't it? It was a Green King pub. We didn't take the camera with us. Um, but coming back. We said, oh, it's nice, we'll just walk down. Hang on a minute. Paul said, we just walk down. <laughs> so we walked down and we got absolutely soaked last night, didn't we? We were yeah. dropped to the skin. And then the weather's not that much better than dear. Well, we've had to knock the bus on the head. We're standing there, here, isn't here. There's two buses haven't turned up, so we've ordered an Uber. I tell you, a couple of quid extra, so. Just be mindful of that, because obviously we don't know what weather. Well, we've downloaded the app, we've downloaded all the stuff and all that, and the two buses that should have come, none of them's turned it's up, so... 11.52, but that one didn't turn up, and it's now saying the next one's 12.52, but we've ordered an Uber for 6.95. Good girl, now it makes sense. <laughs> well, there it is, it's going to turn up. <laughs> it's going to turn up. Right, that's just arrived in Stratford. Neighbour and Uber, was it? Spot no. on. So, let's have a wonder about Side streets and that there, I don't know what we're going in first, really. Yeah, we'll have a little look down here and then see ya. I think it's just this street and that's it, we'll like to get the time back. There's a what? Probably building society. You've got your wedding band, you didn't they look in now? <laughs> Living flicking you. Jesus. <laughs> Where do you want to get a pipe? One of them down there. Bead can and everything in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that flat one, mate. Somewhere. <laughs> Nice old buildings up there. I think that's shaky. Yeah, shaky. 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 Yeah. We'll have a look up there just now. Eh? That's one of the old buildings there. So I yeah, fell off the step there. <laughs> old Tudor buildings, lovely, aren't they? Yeah, really nice. So we've got a big Marks and Sparks here. It's like a posh building for Marks and Spencers. It is, isn't it? Big Marks and Spencers there. Gil probably want to go in there in a minute. We've got bits of hairdressers and stuff down here, isn't it? What's this one here? Oh, it looks like internal decoration and all in it. Like for your house and stuff in it. Yeah. Right, we're going to have a look along here. Um, that Encore water sign dining looks quite nice. So, well, Looks like a canal gear. Oh. Or is it the river you have on? I don't know what it is. Um, it says river trips. Um, while it's dry, I think, shall we have a walk along there and yeah, see what we can... It is going to rain, so let's make the most of this dry weather. Aye, <laughs> for now, because it is really grey, isn't it? <laughs> it's took it down all night. A few canal boats here. I think uh, there's a monument or something across there. These are all little pizza things and underneath boats and ice cream, coffee mm -hmm. and tea and that, that one. So 
so Gailey was right. He's a canal here. <laughs> that just for a change I was right. <laughs> I just want to have a look at the river here. I've all night, but... Shung about the weather. What oh, are well, these there? Swans across here, girl. Well, it's nice being on one of them. For ah, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? Has this one given a sure look? Yep. Beautiful. <laughs> Swans got on there. Hard <laughs> pigeons don't look like a pigeon. In the right one, fed up with the rain, aren't they? <laughs> it's a bit like me yesterday. I was in the right one when we had to walk home. <laughs> Aye. Uh, I wasn't singing in the rain. Uh, <laughs> That's no unusual, is it? <laughs> Not unusual to be loved by anyone. <laughs> Geese along there, so... <coughs> Did you reckon this is the river here, though? <laughs> well, these are geese, aren't they? I see no swans, are geese, aren't they? Geese, them. But that's not, that's not, that's not, aye. Tapping the geese for a walk. That's <laughs> <laughs> the Jubilee Pavilion. The Jubilee Pavilion, is that that behind us or? Not sure. Uh, worldwide celebration of William Shakespeare's genius and his roots here in Stratford upon Avon began in 1769, where you were standing 153 years after Shakespeare's death. A huge temporary octagon pavilion was built on this spot. Where's it? Well, it must have dropped it. I think we're still. And that was it there. I just said it was temporary, a huge temporary. Oh, no, he's right. This one's here. Oh, young Will. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nice sculpture of two swans. Inaugurated by a majesty on the occasion of the visit. In celebration of the 800th anniversary of the granting on market rights to Stratford upon Avon. Oh, we're going to have a walk up here. It's you. Yeah. Because it's starting to rain. No legacy is so rich as to honesty. Really? All that glitters is not gold. Couldn't tell. <laughs> All the world is a stage. It certainly is. <laughs> Music be the food of love. Play on. <laughs> play on, play on. That's the song, isn't it? But I don't know where it is. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? <laughs> I'm more like a drowned rat. <laughs> uh, I'm just having a walk up here. See what's up here. It's starting to rain now. What are these old buildings here? Even the crown here, the rose and crown. This one here. That one there. Lovely them like, aren't they? Uh huh. I'm just loving all the old buildings. Hey, this one here. Oh, and the next one. That uh, proper old them. I've not I been painted for a while. The town hall there. And there's Shakespeare. I think it's Shakespeare up there. Oh yes, sorry. Still a bank. 
Looks like it, doesn't it? Back to the front haven. It's half state and back to the front haven. Gary Ginn. I think I'll have to pop in early at the deal. Yeah. If you can find us. There's <laughs> some spooks in there, do you think? So, Mercure, what's that thing? What is it? I don't know. Sure, hostel. It's just a hostel or something, though. It's just some kind of hostel, the Shakespeare hostel thing. I'm going to have a little look at these there. Aye, this hostel's closed. But lovely old building, though. So we've got this here, um, what you'll see in there, you can go in and have a look, but it was the site of Shakespeare's family home in modern, did you see it? From 1597. Hidden voices. Oh, we'll walk down and we'll have a little look there. Indigo Hotel. And it's just, it's, this road along here is just a street full of the children like buildings and really like church on the end. Like <laughs> Aye. Hmm? What's this one? It's originally Indigo called Falcon, Hotel. Falcon Inn dates back to 1624. So now it's a massive hotel. old pub that we think we're going to have a wander in later. Which way are we going now, girl? Um, Down this way. Like Some fine art there. The zebra, girl. Oh, yes. Wonder and air, which is Bell Court, which is a little shopping place, I think we think. We'll have a look, see what's what's in. We've got a little wander down here. We've got one of Gil's favourite boozers there, all but one. All bar one either. What's it called? <laughs> all bar one. All bar one. All bar one. All bar one. What are you getting there? Dattery. Strawberry Dattery. Miller and Cartner down here. So oh, all this way up to the Queen's Head. Um, we're not really sure where we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's Love Joy's Antiques over there. Yeah. So we must have just walked along that top there. And this must be where all the antique stalls are, is it? There's the Queen's Head pub. This is that road there, where there's not much down there. Yes. Aye, uh, so up there, yeah. Right, but this way. Right, on just antique shops, isn't it? Back through this way. Then. Excuse the noise, we've got on like the high street bit here, and it, it's just noise. <laughs> Aye. This is where we got off the taxi just along here. I bet that's nice on the night down, Gil. All the lights on the top. Let's see what it is, eh? It's even got the work in there, like, and you inside. What's that, sir? You know, dears, every man shall eat and save to under their own vine. What he plants and, what's that, sir? What he plants and sing, the very songs of peace to all his neighbours. God shall be truly known and those about her, from her shall read the perfect ways of honour and by <laughs> their greatness, not by blood. <laughs> and that was Gilly Shakespeare. I'm your greatness, Anna. <laughs> There's a little door for the little people. 
You'd never get through there, would you, Paul? No. You wouldn't even be able to go sideways, <laughs> would you? <laughs> American citizen. An American citizen, George W. Charles of Philadelphia. Town of Shakespeare. Premio Jubilee. where the windows are there's a pendulum swinging but you can't kind of make it out on the camera the old thatch tavern across there Stratford Playhouse and then we've got like Gail was just saying that door there for Gail to get through <laughs> <laughs> You what? It's just like loads and loads of bars, restaurants, um, coffees. Another little quaint shopping mall at the end, isn't it? Like a little. Little trinkety shops, I think, down here, isn't mm. it? Little restaurant and that. Actually, is that it there? That's it there. That must be Shakespeare's birthplace there. Yeah? Mm. This must be the back of where we were. Because that's hidden voices, look. The other side, this must be the back. We've walked all the way around. Do you know what I mean? No. So, when we saw the birthday, So that's where the big fellow was there, born, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And there he is there, in the middle. <laughs> that's Gilly looking at the strapping sweetie shop. What the size of that chocolate fish? Catch of the deer. Mm. Okay. All the jars at the back, all the different sweeties in. Yeah. And the We're just talking about them, weren't we? Yeah. See that? That's what you're not know, sticking, girl, because you're always spitting it out. <laughs> <laughs> dummy. You're a dummy. Plenty of sweetie shops as well, that one's got all the jars on the back as well, I think that's even got more in, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But that's nice, like those cherry dark chocolate, that'll have like the... But you'll have Jack Daniels and Captain Morgan ones nice. <laughs> Is that so? No, no me, I didn't make chocolate. <laughs> that's Gil's, Gil's pasty shop. Water stones. Um, like 30 minutes. What we can see is that we've just popped in this pub. It's called the Garrick. The uh, oldest building in Stratford, we think. It's absolutely teeming down outside. So we've popped in here. And have a pint. And grab some nachos or something to keep us going. There she is, soaking wet and all. So we've got a Timothy Tiara? Yeah. We've got a Timothy Tiara. So we'll have a little bit of a rest in here and then we'll decide what we're going to do and where we're going from here. was a timber frame building that dates back to the 1400s. Can you hold that one, isn't it? 
Riches do include plagues, fires, priest doors. I don't know what a priest door is like, but priest doors. Uh, it's potentially one of the oldest pubs in Stratford upon the other. And many of the former occupants are still believed to visit from the other side. <laughs> Just go a little snack. Keep us going till 2 Well, that was the Garrick Inn. I'll just show you it again. Over the old building. Really nice. Um, enjoyed it in there. Quite slow service, but there's only a couple of lads there, and so took a while. And it's absolutely lashing down again. So I think we're just going to crack on, maybe pop for another pint somewhere, and then we'll be jumping in a taxi or something, getting back here. Yeah? We shall see. The big fella's even got a distillery. Look at this Shakespeare's distillery. That's a nice spice tropical rum. Oh, I bet they're lovely. Actually, honey rum, because we like. Um... Yeah, it's honey rum. Pretty spiced, tropical spiced. Yes, right I might one. have a look at This is home of Judith Quinney, Shakespeare's daughter. Oh, the home of Judith Quinney, Shakespeare's daughter. Shakespeare's distillery. Like it's she's, I'll book Stratford, she said. <laughs> but me fun, she said. I've got pneumonia. <laughs> it's only a bit of rain. Never hurt anybody, did it, Gil? It's going in the show when you get We're going to go in there, but they've got the, fit, the, the pub fitters are in. <laughs> that's the oldest one in all. Yeah? She says that's the oldest pub in all, so somebody's telling parties. Bloody. Bloody rain and I've lost her. Oh, there she is. I lost her. When you're looking for a pub, you can't find one. No, I'll shut. Little drinky in uh, the White Swan. Absolutely soaking wet. We are dragged to this game, but lovely pub. This lovely beams on it. Look at the wood, wood beams out. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous place. Yes. Oh, loads of character in this one, isn't it? It's a hotel. Hotel, aye. Really nice. We're going to have a little drinkies here and we're going to jump in a taxi or something and get back to the motor home. Chill for the night. Did you know, Gail? What? That over 600 mothers were evacuated during the war have their babies. No, expecting mothers to have their babies. And then once they had the babies, they returned home. But they were evacuated here, to Stratford, on the oven, to have the baby. Why? Bit safer here, I think, in World War Two. I don't know why, but it was. So there you go with your wives. Well, I think we're going to end this vlog here. I don't think we've seen the best of Stratford. I think there's a Not lot more to see, but with the weather, we've done our best. We've tried to see some of the main bits before it starts to rain, but it's absolutely teeming. As you can probably see, me hair like but a drink. We are absolutely so. We're going to enjoy our, our cuppa and, and just have a bit of. Finish it off in the white swan here, mm -hmm. and then we're going to dive in a taxi and get back to the motor room, chill out, yep. the rest of the night, and then we're off to. Up to Lincoln. We are to Hearts um, and Country Park tomorrow for a couple of nights. We'll show you all that when we get there. Yeah, hopefully the weather's a bit better tomorrow. Catch you on. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye now. Bye bye.